haven't configured an IPv4 address for the tunnel yet, I'm going to do this later. But let's go to router 2. Here I'm going to type interface tunnel and again I'm going to type 123 for the name. And again tunnel mode is going to be the same. Tunnel mode is GRE uh, multipoint. Then I'm going to have a tunnel source of loopback 0. We can have a tunnel source of other interfaces but loopback 0 is OK. And then go for NHRP configuration. IP NHRP. Under NHRP I have a network ID. The network ID is the same as what I have configured on the hub. I have authentication here. That's going to be the same name. I have mapping here and mapping are a little more here. Mapping is going to be multicast dynamic and finally I want to have some mapping. This mapping is going to be created on router 2 and router 3 and the mappings are going to map to the source of the router 1 uh, tunnel. You see that the source interface the source of a uh, tunnel is loopback 0. So when I am mapping, I am actually mapping the IP address of tunnel 1 to 3 and router 1 to the loopback 0 address of this because uh, tunnel, uh, I'm not going to add tunnel to, to the routing protocol. So on router 1, first of all, I want to add an IPv6, IP address that is not advertised to anybody, uh, any router. So I type IPFS. And I'm going to have, for example, 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 1. And this is not advertised to the other side. So on the other side, I would tell the interface to, to, to the tunnel interface that uh, if I want to have a mapping, I would map this. Shift insert. I would map this to 1, 1, 1, 1. I know how to reach the 1111 and because I am mapping 10101231 10, to 1111 I know how to reach to this although this is not advertised but I'm mapping this one to to an IP address that I know about that so I hit enter so you have a mapping to the destination you know the destination is using this interface as the source so I can connect to the IP address of the tunnel. Now let's add IP address here 10101232 10, as well and of course I'm not going to advertise this to the other side but this is the only mapping that I need. On server I'm not going to use anything and here I want to assign the server. Uh, what I'm going to do is type IP NHRP and you can have a server configuration using NHS here. So you will type IP NHRP NHS and NHS is going to be 10 10 1 2 3 1. How do I know this? I already have a mapping in my configuration. So this is the configuration of a tunnel interface on a spoke. So let me show running config of interface tunnel 1 2 3 and you can see this configuration and this is quite the same on router 3 so I just copy this and the only thing that I need to change is the IP address so let's go to router 3 and go to configuration mode and type all of them and then change the IP address so the IP address is going to be the IP address is going to be 1, 2, 3, 3 that's it Okay, so let me show running config of interface tunnel 1, 2, 3. The IP address is 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 3. I have a mapping because I know how to reach to 1, 1, 1, 1. This mapping is going to work. And using this mapping, I know which, which router is going to be the server. And now that's it. The most, most of the configuration is done. So let's go for the next step. I'm not going to use IP security. I, what I'm going to do is to assign uh, assign a, a kind of um, you know static routing. But before that, 
let's see some verification commands. The verification commands are rather one on how I'm going to go to privilege mode and I want to check if I have such thing. Show DM VPN. You can see show DM VPN and hit enter. This is the DM VPN result. As you can see I have two entries here. This is just a number of entry. Uh, I have two tiers. Uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, and 3, 3, 3, 3. And the tunnel address is going to be 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 2, and 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 3 on these two routers on my peers. Both of them are up, running. And the attribute D here, D means dynamic. So this is dynamically created for me. And that's it. This is the only verification command that I need to have. If I go and type the same thing on router 2, let me see this, I go to router 2 and I type show the MVPN, you can see I only have one peer, that's because I just connect to router 1, that's it, I do not need to have more than this, on router 3 again, let's check this on router 3 and the same is here, the state is up, the tunnel is working and that's it, so everything is working just fine, let me issue a ping to 10 10 one the ping is successful what if I want to connect to router 2 you can see the tunnel is working just fine what if I want to connect to other networks if I have other networks on router 2 for example I can just configure a, a static route to reach to the other side uh, I will show you a simple example here for example I uh, on router 3 I type interface look back it is not typing interface look back 33 the IP address is going to be 33 33 33 33 and that's going to be 24-bit address okay 24-bit address so again I'm not advertising this to EIGRP so I'm I'm not expecting the other side to know about this. What I need to to go to router two and add uh, an interface look like twenty two for example IP address is gonna be twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, twenty four bit mast. And now I need to assign the, the mappings. And and be careful about the mappings. That's going to make you some trouble because you know that when you are mapping, you can select an X type IP address or you can select an interface. Sometimes interface is not working. Sometimes um, you need to assign the interface. I'm going to use the interface. So I just type IP route to reach to 33, I will go through tunnel interface 1, 2, 3. This is the IP route that I just created here. And on router 3, I will tell IP route 22, 22, 22, 0 with 24 bit. This network is, is, is accessible using tunnel 1, 2, 3. So I hit enter. Now, uh, both sides know about each other. So let me show a ping. If I try to reach to 30, 22, 22, 22, 22, uh, this is unreachable, uh, that's because something is stopping us, you can see the U here, so let's issue this sourcing from the back, 33, now this time it is timing out, let's see what the problem is, I want to check it. I I want to go to router one and add some static routes here. IP route IP route um twenty two twenty two twenty two zero twenty four bit mask and I'm going to assign a next hub IP address that's gonna be one one ten ten one Twenty three two and and to reach to thirty three 
I'm going to use this. Let's go to router 3 and issue the ping again. And this time ping is successful. That's because we need to go to hub and have a mapping on hub either too. Okay, so this is the configuration of uh, a dynamic multipoint VPN. As I told you, I'm not going for uh, the configuration of IP security, but you can easily uh, create the configuration for yourself.